Hey, 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 collective, how you doing? Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. As you guys can see, um, I took you to my spot. <laughs> okay, so this is where I go to just hold a med, you know, and to just, oh, I love water. <laughs> so I got, I brought you guys to my spot where I go to relax and decompress. So let's see what messages spirit has for you. This is just a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't hit, that's okay. It just may not be your reading. Uh, feel free to click the notification button. I'm sure spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box. I just want to thank all of you who have joined the woke community on the Patreon platform. It is growing slowly but surely. I will be um, uploading a cord cutting ritual there. So um, if that's something you're interested in, come on over. It's really cheap. It's only $6 a month, okay? I don't know anything you can get for $6 now, nowadays, okay? Gas, pr gas prices are crazy. All righty. Let's see. Uh, feel free to, like I said, book me for a personal reading or hit me up on the live tarot line, Your Harmonic Wave. Um, if you call the line and you don't get me, that means I'm on the line with someone else. You can call back or you can message me. You can message me on Instagram at Light Group Life, and we can set up a time for you. Or you could just leave a comment in the comment box in the video, okay? And I will get back to you. Okay, Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. I hope you guys all can hear me. I forgot my mic, so um, I'm doing my best to speak as loud as I can, despite all of um, the sounds of nature, the music of nature, okay? All right, Spirit, what's going on with the collective? What messages do you have for the collective that is for their highest good? My intention is that these readings reach those they are meant for to provide them with clarity, healing, empowerment, and all good things. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Spirit, please clarify four of cups in reverse. Wow. Please clarify three of swords in reverse. Hmm. Please clarify six of wands in reverse. Wow, okay. Collective, you moved on from someone. They may have rejected you or disappointed you or let you down in some way, but you're realizing that you can't stay stuck in the past or stay stuck on something or someone and you have to move on. You could be exploring your options. Some of you could may, may be a bit confused. Someone you're doing, um, is it online dating? And you may be a bit confused as who to choose because you may have gotten more hits than you thought you were going to get. Okay. Spirit, can I please clarify um, four of, sorry, seven of cups. Please clarify seven of cups. Yeah. Someone is upset about the fact that you have moved on and you are exploring your options. Okay. Someone is also moving on. They've I don't know if they made some decision. I'm going to look more deeper into that. Spirit, please clarify um, the devil. Please clarify the devil. Yeah, someone's not in alignment. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who has decided to go and explore their options. But it's, it's coming from an energy of not being satisfied, not being happy with themselves. Something is never enough for someone, so they need to have a lot. Okay, this is someone who needs to have a lot of validation from other people, other energies. Please clarify, Knight of Swords. Some of you could have told somebody that. Like, you know what? Something's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like some of you, you told someone about themselves, about the way they are, the things that they do. You could have told someone that their ass is toxic and you don't want anything to do with them. Someone in this collective, you told someone to move on because you're done with them and they can do whatever they want to do because they are no longer any of your concern. And this was destined to happen. Somebody is racing to do something here, but... I feel like someone wants to reconcile with you before you 
talk to somebody else or get in a relationship with somebody else. This person is obsessed, obsessed with you. They're not aligned, okay? I don't know what's going on. Someone is really imbalanced emotionally, mentally, physically, okay? Financially, someone's not balanced, okay? And they have some kind of really sick obsession with you. Yeah. They have faith that they'll be able to come towards you and heal something, but I feel like you're over them. Spirit, can I get one more? Can I get one more on the Seven of Cups, please? Yeah. Someone is not looking at the bigger picture of something. I just feel like someone doesn't want you to move on because they don't want to see you healed and happy and whole. This person is getting bad karma. You healed from a cycle, a karmic cycle with somebody. Spirit, please clarify Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Someone believes that you're destined to be together or get back together. Or it's just a matter of time before you get back together. Yeah. Can I get one? Can I get one more on? What is this? Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone's angry. They're angry because you're doing what's right for you. Okay. A lot of you, you're, you could be not the nicest to this person. And I'm, that's an understatement. <laughs> Some of you, you could be real bitchy to somebody right now, male or female. It does not matter, okay? This could be a masculine that's in their feminine energy, and it's, you're on a real bitch one right now with somebody because you just don't trust them. You know that they're toxic. You told someone that you're doing what's best for you, and you meant it. You're actually doing that, and you've healed, okay? This is why you're able to move forward like this. You know that someone was keeping you in a toxic cycle. So this was like arguing over the same things every couple of months you're going through the same experiences with somebody and it's just like what what is this that nothing's changing here you know that something's not going to be successful with somebody okay you also found something out you could have realized that someone was manipulating you some of you could have found out that someone did some kind of black magic on you or someone was going around doing spell work and that was just like talking shit about you trying to manipulate other people's energy towards you spirit please clarify strength Wow. Someone is trying to be strong right now and they really do want to reunite with you because I don't know. It's, it's, it seems like once you separated from someone, their whole life went down. OK, like people don't have respect for this person. They're not getting the accolades that they're getting. They used to get anymore. They are getting um, recognized, but not for the right reasons. OK, someone could be now being viewed as being toxic. This person lacks love for themselves. I feel like it's also bothering someone that you don't love them anymore or you don't have the same feelings for them or you don't look at them the same way. This person feels like a failure. They feel like a loser. Spirit, please clarify seven of swords in reverse. And it's really on their conscience. They got caught about on some caught up with something. They did something, lying, cheating, stealing. But I also feel like this person is delusional, okay? They're showing up as delusional. Wow. This person, they know that losing you, they lost everything. Someone could have been with you for clout or you made someone look really good collective. But now that you've separated and you're really done, they're looking at that now. Like nobody views me the same way. Nobody has the same respect for me. It's like, wow. Spirit, please clarify the magician in reverse. People are viewing someone as manipulative or a real shady person. They got caught doing something. Someone is also worried about some kind of lack of finances, okay? Now, this person wants to come back towards you because they want to manipulate you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because this is hurt people hurt people, and misery loves company. Because somebody is not happy, and you've moved on, and you seem to be healing and doing your thing and living your best life, okay, or striving to be the best version of yourself, this is someone who's upset about that, right? This is a happiness hater here, yeah? Someone does not want to see you in a relationship with anybody else collective. Real talk here. Like, I feel like this is the only reason why this... Okay, two things here. Someone wants to come back and reconnect with you or reconcile because they feel like they lost a lot. Some of you, if you went through a divorce or some kind of separation, this person lost a lot of money in that, okay? Someone, it's killing them the, fa the thought of you being in a relationship with somebody else and being happy. They don't want to see you in a relationship talking to anybody. They don't like any type of attention that you get. 
some of you spirits saying to block this person okay someone in this collective you you haven't blocked someone because you want them to see you move on and spirits like you don't even need to do all that they'll see it anyway but somebody is like watching your social media sending you bad juju they could even like if someone likes one of your pictures or a comment that you made or something they want to go to that person's page and start some kind of shit with them and spirits like don't even don't even leave room for that to happen spirit can i get some more messages can i get one on the um page of wands yeah someone thinks that it's not fair that you are doing the right thing for yourself or you've gotten the opportunity to change things in your life okay spirit please clarify queen of swords in reverse a lot of you realize that somebody was very malicious towards you or they did something that was unjust they did something that was unfair or they abused their power with you and you are not lying to yourself about this anymore. You are not making excuses for someone's behavior. You see what they're about and you're not about that life. Yeah, look at this. You hightailed it out of there. <laughs> when you told someone that you were done, you meant it, okay? And you were gone. You were spiritually guided to move forward successfully away from someone. And this person is seeing how unsuccessful their life is because you're not in it. Okay? Hmm. I feel like someone may have been very arrogant and very proud, right? Thinking that they were on some kind of come up. This is, you know what I'm getting from this? This is someone who, when you got with them, they may have been in a bad position and they used your energy to come up and then they started to feel too good. They started to feel like they were better than you, right? So they could throw you under the bus now because they're in a good position now. Not realizing that they were only in the position that they got because of you, okay? Someone got a lot of respect just because they were with you. Because without you, they would have been a nobody. Hmm. Yeah. You moved away from someone that created some kind of major loss or you know you can't do anything with them. Yeah. You've decided to move away from someone who likes to keep you in third parties. Some of you, this has to do with friends. You realize that you had some friends around you that were around you for the wrong reasons. Okay. They just wanted to say that they know you to get some kind of recognition or some kind of clout. Mm-hmm. You made a decision to get away from them, okay? Get away from them and stay away from them. Some of you, you're just not interested in anybody that wanted to put you in some type of third party. It's not happening anymore, okay? You're not going for that. Yes, look at this. Ace of Wands. Can you see this? Ace of Wands. Brand new, passionate beginning here. Yeah. And someone is salty about that. Someone's in their feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They feel like they wasted their time or they never got what they thought they were going to get from you. A lot of you, you moved on and you are not sorry about it. This is very unapologetic energy because you realize that you made some kind of, you made a bad investment. You feel like you wasted a lot of time with someone and you don't have any more time to waste. Yes, look at this. In time, things are will balance out for you. This is divine intervention as well. Like I said, spirit guided you to get away from somebody or get away from some people. Okay, some of you, this could have been friends, family members, okay, that needed to go. Yeah, look at this. You're not into any conflict or chaos or drama. Some of you, you realize that you had some people around you that were very malicious in nature. They would talk about you behind your back. They would throw shade, okay? They would throw stones and hide their hand. You have moved away from that. You are moving into calmer waters in your life. Your life is a lot more peaceful, harmonious, and balanced. That is for sure, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're not into any type of competition. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are more about cooperation, working with people. You're not into competing, okay? That's not what you're about. Yes, uh, you're not putting any effort into that, okay? You drop this burden. You drop someone because you realize that they were competing. Some of you could have realized that you were with someone who was jealous of you or envious of you, right? This is somebody who's upset now because they know that without you they're nothing <laughs> they really are the respect that they were getting they don't get it anymore the attention that they're getting it's not the right kind of attention mm -hmm. all right this person is hiding the fact that they want to come come back around right they want to heal things but this is someone who's going to try to heal things with their wand with what's in between their legs they think they can come and sex you up and sex you down and get you back into get back into your good graces but no <laughs> That's not what's happening. This is someone who's obsessed with you as well, collective. They're obsessed with your energy. They're obsessed with your body. Yeah. And they're stuck in their head. This is someone thinking about you being healed and moving forward in your life. 
they're secretly trying to think of how to come back, how to get a way back in, how to sneak their way back in, how to get you back into some kind of commitment. This is someone who may come back around and try to propose or tell you that they want a higher level of commitment. They want to move in with you. They want to do it properly this time. But they're going to do the same thing that they did before. This is someone who's going to be real passionate, rushing in, and then it's going to be over as soon as it starts. Because this is someone who doesn't finish things, anything that they start. And they're not really serious about things either. Yeah, look at this. They just want to control you. They want to control you, manipulate you, try to control the situation. And they know that they can control you better or they believe they can control you better if they have you in, I'm, I'm feeling like a leash, right? They have you on a leash or they have you in, in their sight or you, they're close to you, right? Mm -hmm. They don't want things to change. I told you, this person's not going to change. They're going to come back in with the same shit, different day. Yeah. But you moved on from this. Look at this. You moved on from this. You have a lot of stability in your life now, collective. A lot of stability. Right? And this is something to celebrate, Spirit said, that you got away from these people or you got away from this person. I told you, you were moved to calmer waters to get away from someone who loves drama, okay? This is someone who, if things are too quiet, they start something, okay? Things are too peaceful in the relationship, they start some shit because they don't know what to do with peace and quiet and tranquility. They feel like they're going mad. Yeah, look at this. You made a very clear decision too. Ain't nobody blocking you. You're gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. You poured out someone's cups. You realize that someone was emotionally manipulating you and you're not here for it anymore. You are holding back from somebody and you don't have the same feelings for them anymore. You could have loved this person, like I said, like cook food. Love this person. Not anymore, though. Someone could have turned you off, okay? Or just like they could have did something with this devil energy that just made you say, oh, hell to the no. Mm -mm. I think the fuck not. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. I told you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are gone, <laughs> okay? You left someone in the dust, okay? You left someone behind. You poured out their cups. You have no feelings for this person. And for some of you, it took a while for you to get here, but you're here now. Yes, you are. Look at this. Stable, secure within yourself. Okay, focusing on what you need to focus on in your life, your priorities. Someone has, you have your priorities straight. And somebody is watching you. They watch how you built yourself up after the separation. Okay? And they're talking shit because they're angry. The thing is, this person will talk about your back, but they won't say it to your face, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because they're upset. Someone is going around blaming you. They're telling other people that you're the reason why the relationship didn't work out. Okay? They're telling people that you're being really defensive towards them and you're trying to fight with them. But all, you're just standing your ground because you know this person's coming with some mess. You know how they are. Yeah. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're planting seeds. You're doing your thing. You're building your life up. A lot of you have good things growing in your life, okay? You planted some really good seeds, and it's going to create stability and security for you. Mm -hmm. Some of you, somebody could have left. They could have left a home, and now they want to come back, and you're like, no. <laughs> your name is off the lease, buddy, okay? Or your name is off the title, buddy, okay? Or sis, you don't get to come back. You've been replaced. Mm -hmm. Some of you are learning something new, okay? You could be getting a new job and, and learning about it. Um, I'm hearing training. Some of you are in training. Some of you are in school. Someone's getting some kind of license or certification. Right? Mm. Someone feels like they sabotage things with you. Mm -hmm. Because they were non-committal. But you, oh wow, look at this. Okay, so two things are happening here. Some of you, you're getting a new offer from somebody. And this could be just like an invite out. You want to go out for a drink. You want to go out for dinner. Uh, and some of you are... This is going to move into a new cycle of love with somebody. So I just want to see what this five... Spirit, what's this five of swords about? <laughs> Somebody's upset because they have competition now, okay? They're going to circle back around and try to double back for you and realize that you have options, okay? And they can't just slide in anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know that someone sabotaged, they fumbled the bag with you, they dropped the ball and they don't get to come back. You have entered a brand new cycle of love. This is love for yourself, collective. Can you see this? I feel like the cards are like love for yourself. 
You close the cycle out with this person, you're not into nothing with them. Mm -mm. Someone was a whole waste of time. You spent a lot of time. Some of you could have spent up to seven years with somebody. Okay? And you have nothing to show for it. But Spirit said you do because you love yourself so much. This person taught you how to love yourself and value yourself and focus on your priorities. You close this cycle out with somebody and you are in a brand new one of stability, security. Okay, someone could have started a business. I'm speaking to an entrepreneur for some of you. Mm -hmm. And it is growing slowly but surely. Okay, Spirit said slow and steady wins the race for you. Spirit, please clarify the world. Please clarify the world. Actually, please clarify Ace of Cups first. Let me see what Ace of Cups is about. I feel like a lot of you are not, um, you know that someone sabotaged something with you, but you're not upset about it anymore. You're actually looking at it like it was a good thing, right? It's like, okay, well, you know what? You gave me the opportunity to go and rebuild my life and, and reset and start fresh a better way, right? Because now you know what energy is for you and what energy isn't. And now you know what you want in a relationship and what you don't. So someone did you a huge favor. Yeah. Someone wants to speak to you about love, how much they love you, okay? They're thinking about you. They're thinking that they want to start a new cycle with you. Someone is willing to compete for you, though. They know they have competition, and they're willing to fight for you. Yes. Hmm. But this person's willing to do something shady. Yeah. This is someone, oh, collective, don't fall for this shit, eh? I don't feel like you will, though, because your energy seems to be really turned off and, and disinterested or uninterested from someone. This is someone who is willing to fight for you and put on that show that you're the one and only for them, and they want a brand new beginning in love, and they want to start all over, and they're going to come and talk to you. Yeah, they are. But this person, they still don't have their shit together, okay? I feel like a lot of things went bad in this person's life. They got a lot of bad luck, a lot of bad karma for what they did to you. And it's coming back on them. And they're looking for you to come and take shelter in. Okay? Save me. Help me. Help me get my life back together. But no. They willingly did this. They had the most energy to create all of this mess in their life. So they have to deal with it. It's their mess. Let them clean it. Because this person doesn't have any intentions of really investing the way how they should with you, Collective. Spirit, please clarify the world. It's going to be the same thing. Yeah, look at this. You are in a new cycle of knowing who you are. I, this is earth angel energy. Look at this. Earth angel energy. Yeah. A lot of you, you're healing from emotional baggage. Okay, this is a cycle of healing for you. Yes. Someone sees that you are different. But I feel like you're learning how to be kinder to yourself, how to give to yourself, and how to be more peaceful. Someone, your energy is calming down. This person could have really got under your skin and triggered you, but you're still moving forward anyway. Yeah. You're not putting any energy or time into any new start with somebody who had, they had a lot of those. They got a lot of chances with you, right? A lot of you are learning how to forgive yourself. Some of you, it may take a while for you to forgive somebody because you're not really there yet. <laughs> you're not there yet. I'm not going to lie, right? You just want to be done with this person. You just want them out of, your, uh, out of your mind. I'm hearing out of your hair, out of your head. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Spirit, any last messages for the collective? Any last messages? Yeah, look at this high priestess. You know this already. You know that somebody's coming back around. They're coming back around to try to do the same thing. But you're keeping to yourself. You're doing a lot of introspection. Some of you, you're going way back, right? Looking at relationship patterns and why they happened and how they manifested and, and how you can heal from them so you're not attracting the same types of energies in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of you, you're balancing. You're, you're doing a balancing act. Some of you could be juggling your money, but you're doing a good job. You're learning how to balance your life better, okay? Manage all areas of your life. And there is a happiness here about you, a fulfillment, a wish fulfillment is coming towards you. Yes, and that's the truth, baby. <laughs> that's the truth. Yes, some of you, you're getting an offer, a real offer from somebody. Yeah, someone's in regret here. Mm -hmm. Someone does want to make you a real offer. They want to drop. Okay, so I'm getting two energies here. There's one that wants to come back with the same shit different day. You're not going to be investing in that person because you know they're messy and you're not here for it. 
somebody is sorry about the things that they did to you. They're seeing something. Uh, they got some kind of enlightenment. They're seeing some kind of truth here. And they don't want to fight anymore. But they feel like you've given up on them and they regret that. Okay? Someone is thinking about how they pushed you to give up on them. But they view you as a soulmate. Right? Like you were the perfect person for them. Some of you, they're like, they miss their friend. Some of you, this is a friendship with somebody. That's like they really messed up with you. They shouldn't have lied on you. They shouldn't have betrayed you. They shouldn't have talked shit about you because someone got caught. Someone got caught in a lie. Mm-hmm. And they're stressed about it. Yeah, they are. Someone's not sleeping here. Extreme anxiety. Yeah, because you're doing good all by yourself, baby. Yes, you are. Someone could have did something malicious trying to get you to be... Um, someone wanted you to need them. So they wanted you to be in some kind of... Have some kind of financial constraints or lack some kind of stability. Someone wanted somebody to either get evicted from an apartment or have to leave a home, you're actually doing way better and you're way more stable without them. And this person is stressed about that. Yeah, they are, right? Look at this, the king of wands in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, someone knows they messed up what they had with you. Yeah. They wanna take a leap of faith and try to um, reverse things, make things work with you. They want to come out of five of coins energy with you, right? Being abandoned. They feel like you abandoned them, but you don't want this person anymore. You really are over them. Some of you, you known this person for a long time. They're from your past. They're angry about that. Okay. Someone's angry with themselves because they want to work with you now. They want to work on things, but no, <laughs> this person does not make you happy and you're not about that life. You know, you can't build anything with them. This person could have went off and been with somebody else who they thought was a soulmate for them and ended up having nothing to show for it. Someone could end up filing for bankruptcy. Someone could end up sick. Someone could be sick. Someone could be sick because they had to file for bankruptcy. But they lost a lot here. Yeah, they did. Yes, they are. Because spirit judged them. For whatever kind of bullshit they tried to do to you, that's exactly what happened to them. Yeah. Someone went to some fake empress, fake divine feminine... Now, this is, I feel like this is the person that um, decide, decided that they're going to go off and explore their options, but it was out, of an energy, uh, was out of an energy of not being satisfied, always wanting more. But this is somebody who wanted their cake and eat it too. They wanted you to be there waiting for them while they were playing around. And then they thought they could double back to you and you would be there like with open arms like, oh, I, will, I love you. Let's get back together. Let's work on this. You're like, nigga, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't want you or bitch, get out of here. Nobody wants you. Someone's been judged. They have very low self-esteem now because of that. Someone went and got with someone who can't take care of shit. Okay, that's why they have nothing. Mm -hmm. They could have went and had a child with this person. Yep. And now you block them. Someone is very insecure as well because you block them and they see that you really don't want to work on anything with them. It's over. They feel really guilty about what they did. Because they breadcrumbed you and now you're breadcrumbing them right back. And this is a tower moment for this person. They're like, yo, you really changed. You know what I heard? But it was all good just a week ago. <laughs> this person's looking at you like, but a couple months ago, last year, you would have took me back. Last year, we would have been rolling around in bed making up. Now I'm not even allowed around you. I'm not allowed on your property. I can't DM you. I can't call you. You blocked me. Look at this. Right? Things change for the better for you and change for the worse for them because they were judged. This person wants a second chance, but you're already stable, doing good by yourself, so why would you go back there, okay? This drastic change needed to happen. It was inevitable here because something was not on a solid foundation to begin with, okay? And you're realizing that. This person could have lied to you a lot, okay? They were very sneaky. They were getting away with things, and Spirit just revealed things to you, okay? You got some enlightenment here, and you saw what someone was really up to, how someone was really low-key, behind the scenes, malicious with you. And you just separated yourself. And that's the best thing you could have did. Yeah. This person's going to try to come towards you, but you are resting. You are isolating yourself. It took you a long time to get to this position in your life where you can just focus on yourself with peace and quiet and tranquility and harmony and balance in your life collective. And you are not letting anybody disturb that. Whoever I'm speaking to, peace is your number one priority because somebody brought a lot of drama into your life and you are over it collective if any of this resonates you may not be able to see because of the lighting but just listen okay thank you so much for checking out the reading i appreciate you and i'll catch your beautiful energy on the flip side bye